Pakistan is an agricultural country whose social and economic development depends upon agriculture. Agriculture contributes 21% in the GDP and is the largest employer, absorbing 45% of the country's total labor force. Adequate and timely availability of water plays critical role in agricultural development as more than 90% of available water is being used for agriculture purpose. Currently, Pakistan is facing water crisis due to escalating water demands, decreasing water resources, abrupt climate changes, and indiscriminate use of water. If corrective measures are not taken to address these issues, the crisis will further aggravate in the near future. Considering these problems, Punjab government launched on-farm water management program in 1976 for promoting efficient use of water at farm level under the vision of more crop per drop Water management has successfully completed more than 50 projects since its inception with financial assistance of the Punjab government and international institutions for improving water productivity and promotion of modern technologies. More than 50% of water is wasted during transition from rivers to canals and diversions from canals to watercourses before reaching to the agricultural fields due to earthen watercourses constructed without lack of engineering standards and designs. Water Management Wing started watercourse improvement program to overcome the problem which is continued successfully all over the province and more than 50,000 watercourses have been improved so far through water users associations. Besides other benefits, watercourse improvement brings the water saving of 229 acre feet annually per watercourse. Water User Association ਨੇ ਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਤਨਜ਼ੀਮ ਬਣਾਈ ਸੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਤਹਿਤ ਅਸੀਂ 20% ਖਾੜ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਸੀ ਪੱਕਾ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ 20 ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਈਟਾਂ ਦਾ ਖਾੜ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਮਗਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਾਲਾ ਖਾੜ ਇੱਕ ਪਿਆਲੇ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਕਲ 'ਚ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਇਹਦਾ ਰਿਜ਼ਲਟ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛਾ ਇੱਕ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਖਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਭੜ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਠਹਿਰਦੀ ਔਰ ਪਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਫਲੋ ਇਨਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਕਿ ਜ਼ਿਮੀਦਾਰ ਦੀ ਸੋਚ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਪਾਣੀ ਸਪੀਡ 'ਚ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਕੋਈ 30% ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਆਪਾਸ਼ੀ ਇਹਦੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਤੋਂ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਜ਼ਿਮੀਦਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਇਹਦੀ ਇਹ ਸਹੂਲਤ ਹੈਗੀ ਕਿ ਇਹਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਸਫਾਈ ਬਾਰ-ਬਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਇਹ ਆਟੋਮੈਟਿਕਲੀ ਪਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਫਲੋ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਸਾਫ਼ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਬਿਸਾਈਡ ਵਾਟਰ ਲਾਸ ਇਨ ਵਾਟਰ ਕੋਰਸਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ 40% ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰ ਇਜ਼ ਵੇਸਟਡ ਡਿਊ ਟੂ ਅਨਲੈਵਲਡ ਫੀਲਡਸ an improper layout of farmland which results in low crop production to tackle these issues water management wing introduced laser land leveling technology in 1985 laser land leveling reduces 35% of water loss and improve crop yield by 23% compared to traditional leveling Thousands of laser units have been provided on subsidized rates by the Water Management Wing with the financial assistance of Punjab government and the World Bank. This technology is now very popular among the farmers in the entire Punjab. Takriban 2014 de vich eh laser gidda. E time assan jara inde kene fayda chende pe hain. ਜਿਵੇਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਪਾਣੀ ਦੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਬਚਤ ਇਤਨਾ ਨਾ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਪਾਣੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਡੀ ਪਾਣੀ ਦੀ ਬਚਤ ਤੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਇਹ ਟਾਈਮ ਪੈਦਾਵਾਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰਾ ਇਜ਼ਾਫਾ ਹੈ ਪਾਣੀ ਦੀ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ 50% ਸਾ ਕੋ ਬਚਤ ਥੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛਾ ਸਾ ਕੋ ਰਿਜ਼ਲਟ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਪਏ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਬੀਜ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਗਲ ਵੇਂਦਾ ਹੁਣ ਗਲਦਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦਾ ਡਿਟਰਮੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਪਈ ਹੈ ਪੈਦਾਵਾਰ ਅਸਾ ਅੱਛੀ ਚੱਲ ਪਈ ਹੈ ਮਾਡਰਨ ਇਰੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਡ੍ਰਿਪ and sprinkler irrigation have been introduced with the world bank assistance considering shortage of irrigation water increase in cost of agricultural inputs and escalating demand of food this technology is revolutionizing the punjab's agriculture by converting barren unirrigated and uneven fields into productive lands saint david se pehle hum yahan pe lagate the chana बरानी चना होता था बारिशें होती थी तो कुछ यील्ड आ जाती थी अदरवाइज 
यही आठ दस हज़ार रुपया बहुत अच्छा फसल हुआ तो आठ दस हज़ार रुपये एकड़ आता था अब हमारी वही आमदन जो है वो डेढ़ लाख रुपये एकड़ तक चली गई है माशा तो हम सेंटर पेवेट सिस्टम से बहुत खुश हैं और हम रिकमेंड करते हैं कि सारे फार्मर्स ये सिस्टम अपनी ज़मीनों पर लगाएं Installation of drip irrigation system facilitates saving of 50% of water and 40% of fertilizers besides enhancing crop yield up to 60%. Government is providing 60% subsidy for installation of these irrigation systems. This innovation is transforming the conventional farming to profitable agriculture. by cultivating high value crops like vegetables and orchards irrigation system se pehle sirf gandam ki fasal kaash karta tha lekin ab munafa bakhsh faslein aloo mirch farbooza aur kapas kaash kar raha hu it was not possible to convert porahar plateau into valley of olives and grapes without this technology it can easily be anticipated that future of agriculture in pakistan heavily relies on this technology main drip irrigation do te angur kaash kita aur na bahut vadhiya fasal hai aur bahut achhi fasal hai aur e drip to baghair angur ka koi tasavvur nahi kita ja sakta pakistan is enlisted in first 10 countries to be impacted by the climate change that has negatively affected our agriculture during last few years which is directly affecting the farmers water management wing is promoting profitable agriculture through climate smart technologies by mitigating these negative effects all the agricultural scientists consider that drip irrigation system can be operated successfully with solar energy in pakistan as sufficient sunlight is available about 8 hours daily for approximately 300 days per year in the punjab main apna 5 saal to bag peter de zariye diesel nal pal reya si jis le mere samne solar di scheme aayi hai to main apne drip irrigation nu solar de zariye energy de reya ha aur ode zariye main apne bag nu muft pal reya aur eh jehdi mehkama islah hai apashi di scheme hai ede nal sanu bahut zyada fayda hai और ड्रिप इरीगेशन के नाल जेड़े असि इजाफी फायदे ले रहे सी सोलर आन नाल ओ बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गए टनल फार्मिंग हैज इमर्जड एज अ वेरी यूजफुल टेक्नोलॉजी टू फुलफिल फूड डिमांड्स ऑफ रैपिडली इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन ग्रोइंग वेजिटेबल्स अंडर टनल्स कैन इंक्रीज द क्रॉप यील्ड फ्रॉम 8 टू 10 टाइम्स Water management wing is providing financial assistance to the vegetable growers using drip irrigation for tunnel installation to maximize farm income even from small land holdings. डेढ़ एकड़ टनल टमाटर लगाया सी ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ 25 ਲੱਖ ਦਾ ਟਮਾਟਰ ਵੇਚਿਆ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵੱਲੋਂ. Besides these technologies, various new interventions are being promoted like construction of ponds for storing rainwater and excess canal supplies for its subsequent use through drip irrigation system. Soil moisture meters to monitor and apply water as per crop water requirement and successful cultivation of gram crop with sprinkler irrigation during critical stages. Furthermore, Cotton growers are being facilitated to construct rainwater ponds, develop sunken fields, and equipped with portable water pumps to dispose excess rainwater from cotton fields for its subsequent use for irrigation. In order to educate the farmers and train the water management staff for efficient utilization of water for crop production and promotion of modern technologies, Water management organizes training sessions at the Water Management Training Institute Lahore. Similarly, different professional, technical, and refresher courses are arranged to improve technical capabilities and expertise of agriculture-related organization and private sector firms for which national and international experts are invited as resource person. Moreover, research activities are being carried out at Water Management Research Farm located in Ranala Khurd, District Okara, which includes standardization of modern irrigation practices for their adaptability and research on cultivation of high-density orchard, maize, sugarcane, cotton, 
potato with drip irrigation system. Water Management Wing is planning a number of development projects with the cooperation of international organizations to tackle the challenges of water scarcity and climate change. These projects include Jalalpur Irrigation Project, Climate Smart Water Management Project, Greater Cholistan, Smaller Cholistan, and DG Khan Hill Torrents. Moreover, this wing is providing technical and advisory services to the farmers through latest communication means. Water Management Wing has burnt the candle at both ends for wellness of the farmers by adopting unique principles and setting aside traditional ways due to which 15 million acres of land and 2 million people have directly benefited in the province. The keen interest and trust of farmers on water management interventions is very clear from the fact that they have paid 20 billion rupees as their private share in these developments. Likewise, over 100 private companies are playing vital role in the water management activities under the umbrella of public-private partnership. These factors have taken this pilot water management program initiated in only five tehsils in 1976 to every village in the entire Punjab. Farmers of the Punjab are now headed towards prosperity due to these water management activities. And with the grace of Allah Almighty, Pakistan will succeed to recognize itself as a unique state in the world.